Why did you buy AMC stock in the first place? It's a very simple question, and I believe the answer, okay, unless you just got into AMC, I believe the answer is because you saw the hope and potential that it could bring for life-changing money and financial freedom. You saw the unlimited potential when the AMC short shares are covered, and the price could go to these unbelievably high numbers. Now, I can guarantee you the, sh the focus of so many people has shifted from why they bought AMC to why they are currently holding AMC. The major narrative out on social media right now is that AMC is a battle for fairness. AMC is a battle to expose the, the greed of the hedge funds. And I'm telling you right now, the, I guess, overwhelming sentiment on social media between those that call themselves apes is not hope for a better future. It is to tear down everybody who has a disagreement with them. It's crazy how the, in my opinion, the hedge funds are winning at this point because they are dividing the apes up. They are dividing the excitement. They are, instead of cultivating this, this group of, of possibilities, they are pitting against, they're pitting us against each other. And it's sad. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. And if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you can use the link in the description below for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. $100 deposit gets you at least three free stocks, and then any $1 crypto trade gets you your choice of $5 in free crypto, and then you get exclusive crypto exchanges in there as well. You know, when we started this thing, January, February of 2021, the biggest argument was, oh man, you don't think it's going to go to $100,000? You're a shill. That, that was the, that was like the, the biggest complaint among people out there was that if you didn't think it was going to go, you didn't think AMC stock was going to go to $100,000, there was something wrong with you. My goodness. I can guarantee you can't go out on Twitter, Reddit, even YouTube. Look at the comments below right now. I guarantee there are people trying to tear other people down, and it's disgusting. How, who wants to join a group that if you post somebody, if you post something that somebody else doesn't agree with, you get destroyed? Now, I'm just going to use the tweet by Adam Aaron yesterday as an example. Adam Aaron made a tweet yesterday that he has an interest in 2.3 million shares of AMC. He doesn't own, and there are plenty of people out there convinced that Adam Aaron owns 2.3 million shares. He does not own 2.3 million shares of AMC. Adam Aaron sold all of his shares of AMC, and he made 40-some million dollars doing it, and he has an interest, a future vested interest in AMC. Adam Aaron says he has this interest because he is required by the new decision that AMC Entertainment made to hold eight years worth of his salary in AMC shares. If the price of AMC stock goes down, guess what? Adam Aaron is required to hold more shares. So if AMC stock gets cut in half, he's going to be required to hold over 4 million shares of AMC. It's going to sound really bullish when he puts that out there and tells you that he's got an interest in 4 million shares of AMC. But the price of AMC is going to be going down when he says that. If it goes up, guess what? He can sell before he reaches those 2.3 million shares. Now, wording things is, is crazy. Because there are so many people that are so hyper-focused on Adam Aaron leading AMC through the short squeeze that they're blinded by the fact that they don't care what his interest in holding those 2.3 million shares are. You've got people like Matt Kors who could go post on that. There were 1,000, I believe, 400 comments on that Adam Aaron tweet, 500 plus of which were people arguing with Matt Kors because he questioned, what does that interest in those 2.3 million shares mean? It is insane how people are willing to tear people apart. Let me tell you, when this started, 
It was everybody looking out for each other. I'm going to hold AMC for you. You hold AMC for me. We reach $100,000 a share, and man, we are rich afterwards. We've got that life-changing wealth. We've got this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to better ourselves and, and take advantage of this short squeeze situation. It's, it's deteriorating. It's deteriorating and it's depressing watching everybody get frustrated with everybody else. And I understand there's a lot of different camps out there. People believe in some 300 to 500 price point. Some people believe in a 3,000 to 5,000 price point. Some people believe in a 100 to $200,000 price point. That doesn't matter. Okay. What matters is that we are here together. If people, do you really believe that if the people who sell at $100 a share, if they sell, do you think it's going to ruin the short squeeze for you? Guys, it all boils down to us against the hedge funds, not us against us. That's dumb. Us against us. You know where that gets us? Absolutely nowhere. It gets us nowhere. And that's what we are seeing right now. People being divided left and right. People complaining about other people and people not looking out for their own best future. They would rather tear you down than help build you up along with them. And that is exactly what I am calling everybody to do right now. If you see something and it frustrates you, okay, get frustrated for a minute and move on. But if you start tearing people down, if people start tearing you down, you know where the short squeeze happens? Never. No, the short squeeze does not happen if we are pitted against each other. If you want AMC stock to squeeze, do you need a catalyst driven by Adam Aaron? Do you need a dividend? Do you need an NFT? Do you need Adam Aaron to do another share count and tell us how many shareholders there are? Do you need a catalyst by Adam Aaron? No. No, there's no catalyst by Adam Aaron that's going to start the short squeeze. Do you need Gary Gensler out there to do something that's going to be the catalyst to drive the squeeze? Uh, people are going to hope for a catalyst and another catalyst and another catalyst. Put the hope in the fact that if you buy the shares, hold the shares, those shares will be covered. I get that it's frustrating that it's been taking so long. I understand that. But if if you give up and give in to all of this nonsense, I can guarantee that you will miss out on the short squeeze. So guys, in the comments below, just state your why. State your why and build other people up as to why they are holding AMC stock and why they believe AMC stock will squeeze. It begins here, it begins now, and it begins with you. If this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. We will buy Gemini Crypto.com in the description below. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.